like, don't punch the shit out of me, but like, <laughs> but really try to punch me. So how to beat a larger opponent or how to shut down a larger opponent's jab is a super clickbaity thing to do. The techniques to get past the jab are just that. They're techniques to get past the jab, or, but everybody has to get past their opponent's jab. If you're smaller, you just have to be better at them. But lots of jabs. Let me try to work some stuff out. When you're the smaller fighter, everything you do means more. And so yeah, I clickbaited you in with like, how to beat a taller fighter. Like I'm not ever gonna really beat him, but I am gonna show some techniques, but more likely I'm gonna talk about some principles about defeating the jab, which is a problem that short people run into. Uh, we're just going to talk about slipping for now. And the context that we're working with is uh, any time I'm worried about a jab, which could be a boxing or kickboxing match or an MMA fight or a street fight where the person is showing the jab. So he's jabbing. My head needs to already be moving before the punch has come, right? When we're practicing head movement, right? He needs to actually aim at my head, right? My head movement has to be better than Jim's head movement because it's unrealistic that I can jab him before he jabs me. What I can do to sort of multiply that is combine it with some footwork. And the cool thing about this is sometimes when I show this footwork, right, I'll, it'll, I'll get the jab, it'll elicit the jab. If I'm pulling this up here and I go like that, sometimes that motion will invite the jab. Another principle for dealing with the jab is to punish it. That means if I want him to stop jabbing me, every time he jabs, something bad has to happen to him. <laughs> So maybe I've got the timing on his jab down, and I kind of see it coming. Boom. I'll parry and punch. Looks like this. Parry, punch. We've covered this in a video. I'm not doing that. That won't work. Touch and go. That's it. Another one, if, it's, if kicking is allowed, or there are no rules, um, every time he jabs, if he's milling his jab out, I'm going to step to the outside, kick to the body, or the leg. Right? He's jabbing a lot. Boom, bing. Boom, bing. This way is a little safer. If I go this way, I'm not running into the right hand. Going this way to the inside of the jab is a little sketchier. But let's move right along and cover what to do if that's where you got to go. So the third principle is smothering the jab. We've avoided the jab. We've punished the jab. Now we're going to smother it. And what that means is, say he's starting to jab me, and maybe I'm blocking. I need to be either all the way out, avoiding it, or all the way in. <laughs> if I'm very close to him, he can't jab me. Now, being close to him is not some magic fix for being smaller. Like, it's not like, oh, I can get in there and I can do shit to him and he can't do anything to me. He just can't jab me. That's all I've accomplished is it makes it harder for him to jab me. He can still uppercut me. He can still trip me. He can still clinch me. He could bite me or headbutt me or whatever. So if he jabs, right, and I'm going to follow that jab back in, I either need to go to some of my shoulder bump techniques or I need to pivot or something like that, change the angle. Or get the uh, inside position, right? If I follow his jab back in and I get inside and get here, it's unrealistic to think I'm going to like plumb him, but I might could control his biceps depending on the strength disparity in addition to the reach disparity. Which brings us to, uh, you know, the next principle on how to deal with someone bigger than you. You have to be strong. Everything you do means more. That includes the stuff you do besides your fight training. So... You have to be more powerful. Your shots mean more. They have to mean more. You get less chances at them. So when they land, they have to do more damage. So I'd say the fourth principle is you got to hit him hard. He's got to respect your strikes, your punches, your kicks, or your takedowns or whatever. He's got to respect what you can do to him. So if I get a chance to hit him, it's got to be hard. And if I get this chance, I might not get another. So I've got to go in, in, either smothering or avoiding the jab, 
right? Or punishing the jab with any of these techniques. That's the truth about the bigger person's jab. Was that four or five? I believe it was four. It was four? All right, so the fifth one, let's say the fifth principle for dealing with the jab is to eat a couple, right? <laughs> and people are like, no, you seen that? Well, how about this? Let's plan, let's hope it doesn't happen, but be prepared if it does. <laughs> So as he jabs me, my neck needs to be strong enough, my composure needs to be great enough, my resolve and my grit and everything needs to be in place so that when he does jab me, I don't go, oh shit, hold on, okay, all right, let me try again, oh shit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's so far away. Hey, hey. So we're going to be doing more about this small guy stuff and kind of the myths surrounding it. It's not all it's cracked up to be. So it's not some super secret technique like, oh, because he's tall, I kick him in the balls. Right? He can kick me in the balls and he can do it from further away and he can do it harder. Right? There's no such thing as small guy martial arts. We are going to be doing more, though. I'm going to talk about sparring tips, some things you need to think about when you are sparring or rolling with bigger guys, some of the considerations there to make your training productive and safe. So make sure you're subscribed and turn on notifications. And uh, if you're a small guy, comment down below and talk to me about what kind of problems you're experiencing and if you think you're experiencing them because you're small or because you're still learning. Or, and let's talk about being like the small guy in the comments. And if you're a big guy, I guess you could comment too. Nah, if you're a big guy, fuck off. <laughs>